Hello everybody, welcome again to my channel. Uh, this is Shiv and today's topic is going to be a little bit of fun. Uh, we've been cooped up, uh, locked up indoors and stay at home orders and all the stuff like that. So it's time to do something a little fun. And I thought, you know, we all deal with macro photography and I love macro photography, don't get me wrong. But how about some macro videography? Uh, not that you can't also take images and photographs, but uh, to do a little bit of macro videography. And that's what today's topic is all about. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some video of soap film. Now, I'm not talking about soap bubbles. I'm talking about creating a soap film and using the film as the subject matter. Uh, using some light to uh, create the refractions and using the surface tension of the water and the soap and some glycerin to uh, make the swirls move uh, on the surface of this film. So uh, here's what we're going to do first. We're going to take to making what I call the mixture. Uh, but before we make the mixture, maybe you want to see what all this is all about and hopefully uh, that'll pique your interest and, uh, you know, stay on to learn how to do it. Right, so what we're going to do is make the solution and you're not going to make a, a lot of it. What you want to do is just enough to cover the base of a bowl so you can overturn your glass, pull it out and have the film form on it. So here's the uh, formula. Not a big deal, just a small formula. It's two tablespoons of water, one teaspoon of dish soap, and a quarter teaspoon of glycerin. What I'm going to do is switch to the overhead view and show you how to mix this. All right, 
we have some water we have some glycerin and we have some palm olive dish soap we're going to take a bowl and we're going to add two tablespoons of water and that's basically just about enough at the bottom so that when I use this glass and overturn it it'll cause it to form just a nice film the next thing we want to do is one teaspoon of the dish soap and a quarter teaspoon of glycerin now one of the things that uh, I'd like to point out is that if for whatever reason you find that your film is bursting too soon not giving you the opportunity to get the right amount of time to do uh, a short video uh, what you really want to do is to create a whole series of short videos and sort of compile them together with some music so what you want is you know this the solution to be such that it's going to stay for a while and and before I do the rest of the setup I'm just going to put my glass in and see if I get a film and I don't know if you can see it but I'm going to pop it maybe you'll be able to see it pop yeah so it does form a pretty nice film I'm going to leave that in there for a moment now the next thing I want to do is to set up the camera and the lights I have the the glass and the bowl which I'm going to position uh, about here and I'm just going to see if I have my uh, camera uh, focus in on the glass and then I have the light now what you want to do is to make sure that the angle that the light is going to fall on the film is equal to the angle that's going to come back to the camera so you want it to basically be pretty even as far as the light direction is concerned so that you get the maximum amount of refraction and you can photograph that appropriately okay um, now I've got my camera and my light uh, positioned the glass is in uh, the right place so let me just uh, show you an overhead view uh, you can't really see it but you know the the bowl is here with the liquid and the camera and the light are basically obscuring uh, the glass that is going to be the one which has the film uh, in order to get good focus I will put uh, a metal ruler or a scale on top and establish my focus my depth of field is not a lot I'm using f8 um, so if I can focus on the ruler I should be uh, pretty much in good shape so in order to do that what I'm going to do is turn the uh, main lights off so you can get a better understanding of what's going on and I'm going to switch to the camera that is going to be doing the video uh, so that you can see what I'm obtaining all right so I'm going to turn the lights off okay now that the uh, lights are off the first thing I want to do is to make sure that I have good focus so I'm going to put my uh, metal scale and just make sure that I am properly focused on uh, on my subject and then I can take and create the first bit of film and as you can see um, it's starting to build 
And as time passes, more and more colors evolve and they become more intense. The saturation increases and each one is different. So uh, don't give up after the first one. Take a whole series and they'll, they'll be all different. They'll be all new. There'll be different patterns that are created. Uh, what you want to do is to grab a few of these and then put them together, compile them with a little bit of music and uh, have a lot of fun. So, uh, you know, hope this is of uh, some interest and uh, will keep you occupied uh, maybe for a day or, or less, but uh, something to do while you're sitting around, uh, you know, looking for new subjects. So as this plays through, uh, let me pop this one and just quickly create another one for you. Now to make it more interesting, uh, you can just use your hand and get a little air moving. And once you do that, you have a lot of very interesting uh, features being established in the uh, the refraction. And each time you do this, you'll come across something new, something different. Um, while this is going on, uh, you can stop the video and of course, you know, grab an image, uh, which is, you know, something that's perfectly uh, viable. But what I was trying to do is to create something that has some motion, uh, some, some, you know, visual impact, not just straight photographs. So with that, uh, thank you very much. Uh, hope you enjoyed uh, what you've seen and uh, do try it at home. And if you come up with something interesting, uh, you know, send me a comment, uh, send me a link, or uh, if you'd like me to create uh, a Dropbox, I can do that. If you want me to just create a section on Facebook and have you posted there, you're most welcome to, to ask for uh, whatever it is. So uh, with that, uh, thank you once again, and we'll see you the next time. Bye-bye now.